Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be calculating range of grouped data. We have our problem here. Calculate the range of height in the frequency table below. So we have the frequency table here. The first column contains the intervals of height and the second column contains the frequency. In our solution to this problem, we consider the formula for range. The formula for range is upper class boundary of the highest class interval minus the lower class boundary of the lowest class interval. We are going to pick each of them and then calculate it so that we now have the upper class boundary of the highest class interval. We identify the highest class interval first since the intervals are arranged in ascending order from the lowest to the highest. The highest class interval will be the last class interval. So to do that, we look at the upper class interval. The upper class interval is 194. Then assuming we are considering the next class interval, the lower class interval there will be 194. So we are going to find the average of 194 and 195 to get the upper class boundary. So that we now have 194 plus 195 then divide by 2, and that gives 194.5. So we are done with that. We then go to lower class boundary of the lowest class interval. Definitely the lowest class interval is the first class interval. Now to calculate the lower class boundary, we look at the lower class interval there, which is 134. If we consider a class before this, the upper class interval there will be 134. So we're going to find the average of the 134 and 135 to give us the lower class boundary of the lowest class interval. We're going to have 135 plus 134 then divide by 2. So 135 plus 134 divided by 2 gives 134.5 and that gives the lower class boundary of the lowest class interval. We then substitute the two information in our formula. The lower class boundary of the highest class interval is 194.5 then minus the lower class boundary of the lowest class interval which is 134.5. 194.5 minus 134.5 gives 60 which represent the range of height in the frequency table provided for this problem. And that is the end of solution to this problem. This is where we are ending this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the playlist containing all the videos on statistics, probability and probability distribution. Until we come your way again, goodbye.